How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here for another episode of the Sassuolo playthrough on Football Manager 2017. If you missed the last episode, we played against Torino and the two Englishmen, Gary Hooper and Joe Hart, had an epic standoff in a game where neither team really were making much happen up front. It was Alfred Duncan who scored the only goal of the game to give us the three points. Now the transfer window was coming to a close and just before it did shut tight we managed to make a few partings onto our side we actually terminated the loan of Aquilani as good a player as he is he is getting old and he's not actually our own player so it would be very little point keeping on to him when we have so much potential in the midfield already we sold Christian Del Orco for £250,000 to Bari we also sold Simone Miseroli to Lazio for three million good player but obviously with his age and the fact that I've got so much talent I want to bring through in the midfield that there was not much point in holding on to him. We also sent Alessio Vita on loan to Ternana. We had to complete our team registration and as follows these are some of the names that have been left out of the final squad that you might want to take note of. The first one is David Biondini. I mean he is an okay player but I don't think he's as good as some of the players that we've already got in midfield and we've got so much talent as I said that I want to bring through there's no point really having him playing on a regular base. Paolo Cannavaro although he's a good backup centre back and he was going to be that backup centre back to the main two Antti and Acherby. The fact that we couldn't actually get Lecture on loan anywhere or get him out playing regular football meant that he'd just be sitting wasting away in our reserves. So I wanted to actually put him as the backup centre back. Alessandro Matri with his injury it only made sense to not play him. And finally Pietro Iamello is not really quite good enough I would say. I think we've managed to sign a few strikers that are probably better than him and Again, some of these players who I really wanted to get out on loan or get them some playing time. I'd love to have got EMLO some game time. I just couldn't find him a team to go to. It's a shame I couldn't get them anywhere to go and play some regular football and maybe alleviate some of the pressure they're putting on the wage budget, but that's how things go sometimes. And for all that, it brings us to today's game. We're going to be playing Empoli away from home. Let's see if we can continue that winning streak that we've got going for ourselves. Now here's our squad going up against Empoli today. Unfortunately, the only change is Ante. He's gone down injured and Lecher is going to be having to take up the spot in his absence. Now, <laughs> some of you are probably thinking, oh God, why couldn't we have just kept Cannavaro instead? That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, God, I would get rid of... Uh Cannavaro right at this point in time when Ante gets injured. We are playing away from home, so I'm going to be retaining the possession, playing a standard play and playing at a normal tempo. Other than that, there is no real difference in the way that we're setting up, just a bit more of a slower approach to our attacking gameplay and that one centre-back change. They are playing a 4-4-2. I'm still a big fan of the 4-4-2 of Football Manager. I thought I would change it up because it seems to be the formation I go with pretty much every time I play Football Manager, so I wanted to switch things up and try something new, although I've played with this formation quite a bit, and it is a very successful one, and I think we've got the team that kind of suits it. Now, they do have some aggressive fullbacks as well, so I want to make sure they're closed down as well, and we are away from home, so I expect them to be playing quite high up the pitch, getting a lot of attacks off. That team talk has gone terribly. Let's see if I can salvage it a little bit. Oh, not too bad in the end. And we're off, off to the races. 100% ball possession so far. We are absolutely slaughtering this team. That's a joke, by the way. Oh, God. Empoli have the ball. Empoli? Empoli. Empoli? How do you say that? How do you reckon you say it? Empoli? Empoli? Empoli. Oh, my God. They've had a chance. Empoli. See, you can't say it without being, like, Italian. <laughs> like, Empoli. Hello there. I'm from Empoli. 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 What? Empoli. Empoli. That's a good defensive block there. Gary Hooper trying to move forward. Alfred Duncan plays it out to Politano. What can he do with this cross? It's not bad, actually. Alfred Duncan tries the audacious volley. Because I can't say that name without putting on some stupid, like, accent or, you know, make it sound really weird. Wow, that was a close chance. S tighten up, boys. Tighten up. I might just call them Polly. We are absolutely on top at the moment. We've up to, we've moved up to seventh position now. I think Lazio are now losing to Inter Milan. Maro Icardi taking the lead. So we have managed to move up slightly, even without really getting much of a result here today. 
Nicholas Frey, Letcher in a very advanced position right now. I'm a little bit worried why he's doing that. Magnanelli, Letcher. Why is he on the right hand side? Duncan, go on. Unleash one of those rockets, mate. Peluso on the overlap. Oh, he can't find the cross. Oh, they've given it straight away. Oh, what? How can that end the highlight there? Back on the attack though, Duncan. Why are you going outside? Go inside, Duncan! Oh, mate! Politano whips the ball in. It's a terrible corner. He takes quite a few terrible corners, I have to say. And Polly looking to go down this wing, and actually they've cut back inside El Cadori. This is some nice football from them. Why can't we play like this? What a tackle! What an unbelievable tackle! Why are we still getting smashed? I'm going to change Letcher to a defensive centre-back on a cover because they seem to be getting in behind us, and I want to make sure that that's not happening. I'm going to just make sure we're not closing down as much. I think maybe we're getting baited by how often we're going to try and make these tackles, and we're just getting dragged out of position. Sensi running to the other side of the pitch. Ricci gets it again, c trying to cut inside. It's not a good shot again. Right, people need to drop a little bit. There's the there's the ball. Who's that? Give it to him. We're absolutely smashing. What is that free kick? Oh my lord! I think we need to do some free kick taking practice in uh in training next. Yes, Peluso makes up for the terrible mistake. Gary Hooper running down the left hand side. Reaches at the back post. Cross comes in. It's not a good one. Magnanelli's got the scraps. Duncan, Duncan finds Sensi. Magnanelli. We're just kind of messing around at this point. Ricci goes inside, and it's an okay effort. Could have had a bit more power on it. I think maybe we need to run at the defense. That's proven to be a successful instruction so far. Politano goes through. Oh, and it's actually parried wide for a corner. Maybe running at the defense will give us a little bit more ability when it comes to getting that final ball in. Gary Hooper's picked up the ball again, though. It's a terrible pass back from Mempoli. We're not getting anywhere with Sensi again picks up the scrap and he's okay, again we've lost it. And they've got a man injured. Get the magic sponge, boys. Put it right in their groin. They've actually subbed on DeMarco, who's gonna be their left back. And I'm actually gonna leave it. They're not really doing anything, so I don't think we really need to make sure that we're closing him down on a regular basis. Now Alfred Duncan's picked up in the middle. Going towards the left-hand side, which is the complete opposite way of where the goal is, mate. Not a bad half. Could have been better. I think we were kind of lucky we didn't concede. We were a little bit unlucky we didn't score. They haven't really responded too well to my team talk. I think we might be able to salvage it slightly. I'm putting a higher tempo on. I'm going to ask them to control the game. I think we are in a position where we're very much in control. So we can't afford to be throwing players forward and I think that because we're so in control of them playing such counter-attacking football we need to play a lot faster so though when those small opportunities actually open up we can make the most of them because I think that's what's happening so we get to the other end too slowly and they get their whole team back and managed we can't really go anywhere see what happens now Gary Hooper's moving forward Ricci oh it's much better much much better in terms of attack still not a great shot from Ricci though we just need that one tackle and we're out and away they're doing very well at controlling the ball right now. Kadori's running to the box. He's found Constant on the left-hand side. The, court, the cross comes in. It is headed out, though. Now's our chance to move. Nicholas Frey looking for an outlet, and it's Ricci he finds. Ricci's bombing it down the right-hand side. Cuts into the wards, the middle. Looking for an overlap, maybe. Ricci goes all the way. Oh, what a goal! Frederico Ricci. What an absolute goal. His first goal of the season. It is an absolute beauty. Look at this. Gets the ball on the halfway line, just storms into the middle and goes, you know what, boys? I'm having this. I've been trying all day. If you don't buy a ticket, you won't win the lottery. And Ricci finally wins it after spending about £20 on a bunch of scratch cards. And Polly trying to act back. Here's the man of the hour, Ricci. He's looking to do the same thing again. And Polly will be foolish not to close him down. They do manage to take the ball off him. But Alfred Duncan gets it after some good defensive work from the boys. Politano trying to shine this time, but he's no Federico Ricci. Oh, there's a bit of confusion going on in the middle. No one really able to make a claim for the ball. But great defensive work again. Completely read that one. Gary Hooper picks up the ball then. Switches the play out to Politano. What's he got for us in his locker? Trying to match what Ricci's brought to the table. Finds Duncan in the middle. Can he find the pass? Gary Hooper gets there! Gary Hooper! 
Gary Hooper scored. That's what Gary Hooper's there to do, is pick up those loose balls and put it in the back of the net. Let's encourage the boys. They're playing outstanding football now. Duncan, Nicholas Frey. Oh! Oh, Gary Hooper almost had his second there. Nicholas Frey moving forward. Duncan in the middle. Let's unleash one. Oh, it's a great effort, and it's a fantastic save. And Pauline not giving up the ball. It's a good shot. Consigli holds that one. Right, we're in the lead. I think we need to tone off the pace of the game. All we've got to do is hold on to the ball, slow it down. We've had control of the game all day long. And I think switching up the pace of the game definitely made us a lot more threatening when it came to finding those two goals. And we managed to successfully get them. I think it's time to bring off Gary Hooper. Let's save him for another day. I feel like the job is done almost here. And we're quite late into the game. I'm going to take off Duncan as well and bring on Mazzatelli, give him some game, as well as Pellegrini. Triple substitution time for the boys. Get some fresh legs out there. Goes up the left-hand side. It's a good cross. Oh, my goodness. Marilungo just gets there ahead of the centre-back. Now they brought on Marilungo. They've gone three up top, which is a bit of a desperation attempt from them. Want to make sure that they've got bodies up there. Feeling they could find a goal. And it is a substitute. Purely because I didn't ask them to mark him and close him down. He manages to score. That's that's really quite the FM thing to do, boys. That What is that tackle, by the way, Nicholas Frey? What is... And the... Just... The defending in general. And now it's squeaky bum time because you know they're going to get all the, uh, the momentum in the world. Let's go defensive. Structured. Oh, it's a nice chance there from Mazzatelli. Waste time, boys. And just shoot on sight. Clear the balls to the flank. Stick to position. Discipline. Close down more. Let's seal this out. I want to win here. Politano gets the loose corner again. Mazzatelli! Oh, come on. I feel like we've deserved a third goal here. Look at the stats, by the way. 19 to 19 shots, 8 on target. And there it is. Full time. 2-1 to Sassuolo. Epic, epic result. We are on fire, boys. Is anyone going to put this fire out? I don't think so. We are absolutely lit at the moment. Much like my bum after a Zinger Tower burger. <laughs>